everybody, this is Theresa here, and I just want to do a quick update and response video today. Um, I weighed in last week at one seven. It's by the way, it's April the twenty third, Wednesday, two thousand fourteen, and um, it's week a ninety two, ninety three, something like that. I'll write it down. But um, I weighed in last week at one seventy three point seven, and I'm at one seventy four point four. So, whatever you do, do you do the math? It's it has a plus in front of the number, so I don't care. It's just been I've been disappointed in my um, lack of of um, my lack of discipline this week. I guess my discipline on my fitness has been fine, but it's just the food. I, maybe my focus has been all on this run that we're about to do. Monica and I are about to do, and I just haven't been focused so much on food like I I was. When I was on my roll of losing for several weeks. But anyway, I'll get back to that next week. Um, so, my I, I've been watching videos here at lunch. Which I'm running late in getting back to work. Because I keep watching all y'all's videos. But I've been, I just watched Lisa's um, LJB214 Able? I think 214? Anyway, Lisa. And, um... I mean, I could not agree with you more, Lisa, on what you had said about um, about how the question that was presented to you was um, what I got out of it anyway, and what my short-term memory can remember um, was about how you've changed your, I guess, the, how you deal with people, with people that come and go, and the changes of um, how people are with you. Um, but the come and go part is something that's been on my mind a lot because not only in this weight loss community, we see people come and go. We see people that are on fire, like you said, with their determination and their pa passion for what they just did to their bodies, had this surgery and starting a new lifestyle and, and fizzle out after a while, which I about did um, after my one year surgery anniversary. But making my um, self, I stayed in enough to where I realized that I really needed to be here and post and stay in connection with all of y'all. So I was almost one of those people that went, came and went, you know. Um, but I'm here for the long haul. Um, but I see where people can get... Um, I don't know. They just get like I was complacent in my, um, that's the right word, uh, where I just kind of just stuck where you're at. And then you just fizzle out and you don't see videos of them anymore. And, and I, I try to uh, message them and see if they'll come back and encourage them. But, you know, they just, whatever their reasons are, there's, uh, there's plenty, there's different reasons and I totally understand. Um, but I wanted to add to that. And my response is that I've been like that in my personal life too, um, as far as like encouragement. And I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I got a lot on my head, but I can't put it all together. Um, for instance, I've had friends that I've been friends with for a long, long, long time. And maybe it's because since I've turned 40, I've just had this different mindset of, you know, I'm not going to allow people to bring me down because I don't have to. I don't have to. Um, just like you said, I don't have to um, accept anyone making negative comments and having the opportunity to leave them on my and not block them and let them make negative comments again. I don't have to hear that. I haven't heard anything yet. Everything I've always had positive comments, but I don't hear from a lot of people. But I mean, you don't have to. Uh, you can block them. You can drop them if you want. That's kind of what I've done, even in my personal life. I don't unfriend them permanently in my life, but like on Facebook, and which I'm mostly on Facebook, uh, on my personal channel and my weight loss channel. I don't uh, follow I, on my my. Um, what is that news feed? 
if you're going to bring me down, I, I'm very sensitive. And if you're going to bring me down, I don't want to see your stuff anymore. So I'll unfollow you. I won't unfriend you, but I'll unfollow you, you know. Just because if you say something negative or if you're just all about you or just, I don't know, just if it's not, I'm trying to sound selfish, but if it's not something that's going to keep me uplifted, spiritually uplifted, spiritually uplifted or motivated, then I don't want to waste time reading a long video or, I mean, a, or a, a long post and um, it's going to bring me down. I'd rather spend that time in reading a post that's going to encourage me um, that I can share with others or, you know, try to stay on the positive. Does that make sense? Um, so same as YouTube, you know. I listen and I watch those that encourage me. I don't feed into any drama. I have some personal friends that have gone in a different path in their life, and I still love them like sisters, um, but I have not, I have unfriended them on Facebook because, or I don't follow them on my newsfeed because I don't, and I, I tried my hardest not to be judgmental, um, but I, I don't want to see what you're doing to others in your life. I don't want to see the destruction that you're causing yourself when um, there's nothing that I can do to help you, I've tried or whatever, you know, maybe that sounds selfish, but I just, I want to see encouragement. I am in this community for encouragement. I have my friends that I do as much as I can for them, but if they don't want it anymore and they're going to bring me down, that I choose, I make that personal choice to kind of cut ties for a while or you know and I'm almost been kind of I know I've hurt people because of it but I have to also have a self-preservation and not keep accepting the negativity so that kind of goes with the weight loss surgery or the weight loss community not just surgery but the weight loss community uh, right now you know I'm focusing on I'm still in the um, losing phase and running and you know and I'm trying I have hard enough time keeping my own self motivated with my own mental problems okay but I get positiveness and I get um you know encouragement from uh, my friends out here that I've my you're my online friends you know which if I saw you I would hug you and you know love you in person and like I've known you forever because that's how I feel about y'all but I um but but if you start turning negative and you start you know just like my personal friends, if you start destroying um, people in your life and you don't want to hear from me and you don't want me to help or you, I don't know, then I'm not going to watch you do it. And so I'll block you or I'll, you know, I'll move on. So I don't know. I kind of went off. You just got me thinking, Lisa, about that topic and how you just kind of, you know, choose to keep the positive in your um feed you in your life than uh, um, letting the negative be around because I don't want the negative to be around because I get enough of that with people that I have to deal with um, at work a lot of it's at work or you know oh and that's why I'm in my car today is because there's so much negative and psycho at work that I get enough there from these people that I have to be around that I certainly don't want it in my personal life if I don't if I have the choice and that's something that I have realized in my 40s now is I do have the choice and I'm comfortable in knowing what I want and I have the choice now to um, be part of the drama or be part of a problem but if I don't have to be then I choose to step out of it so it's part of growing older I guess part of growing for me is that's a big thing I've learned is just I don't have to I don't have to be fat anymore. I don't have to be that fat girl anymore either, you know. And I've chosen to do something about it. She still keeps rearing her ugly head, which is what she's been doing this last week. And I've got to kick the bitch down every once in a while, you know. What do, what do you do? <laughs> so, anyway, I've rambled long enough. Um, talk to you next week. Monica and I have our half marathon on Sunday, so we'll uh, we'll post a video on our um, the our other running channel. But I'll talk to you next week. We'll have an awesome week, wonderful weekend. 
uh, live life to the fullest. And, um, you know, God bless. Keep God in your life. Because if it wasn't for God, I don't know where I would be today. So, all right. Well, love you all. Take care. Bye.